dear student this particular class i am going to discuss about division of items into groups suppose you see total we have 10 different objects are there or 10 different items are there these are 10 different items you have to divide into two groups one group containing six items the other group containing four items how many ways we can divide so what to do from these are 10 items we have to divide into two groups one is containing six the other one containing four items that's why from 10 select four or six so now the six items i kept here these are the six items automatically the remaining four items are here they form say another group or not that's why 10 say 6000 is the answer that is nothing but 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial into 4 factorial so 10 items we have to divide into two groups one containing 6 the other containing 4 that can be divided in these many ways now suppose you see here total we have 20 items are there these are 20 items we have to divide into three groups one group containing seven items the other group containing 11 items and one more group containing two items how many different ways we can divide so first of all from 20 select 7 now remaining how many items are there seven 13 items from those 13 select 11 the remaining two items forms in another group now this is 20 c7 we can write 20 factorial divided by 13 factorial into 7 factorial 13 c11 can be written as 13 factorial divided by 13 minus 11 is 2 factorial into 11 factorial 13 factorial 13 factorial cancel so we are getting the answer as 20 factorial divided by 7 factorial into 11 factorial into 2 factorial so these are 20 items we divide into three groups in these many ways right now the question arises here total we have m plus n items m plus n items these m plus n items we have to divide into two groups one group containing m items the other group containing n items how many ways we can divide so first of all directly we can write this one m plus n factorial divided by m factorial into n factorial suppose m plus n plus p items we have to divide into three groups one group containing m items the other group containing n items the third group containing p items so here also we can write the answer as m plus n plus p divided p factorial divided by m factorial into n factorial into p factorial so here no problem at all now the difficulty arises here observe here i have four objects one is a b c d these are four different objects i want to divide into two equal groups that means each group containing two items so how many ways we can do from those four select two the remaining two forms in another group right so that's why total we are getting six possibilities i want to write down those six possibilities what are those six possibilities because four items we are to divide into two equal groups what happens you see starting with a a b one group c d next a c next remaining b d next a d a d next the remaining b c now start with b so if you are taking b c a d forms in another group if you are taking b d next a c forms in another group last one is c if you are taking c d then a b forms in another group once you can observe here a b C D, A C, B D, same, A D, B C. That means these three and these three are same. So when equal items are there, there is affecting total. We got six, but actual answer is three only. 
these three and these three are same. That's why what to do? So here we have to divide because the two identical groups, two these two groups are same, two equal groups. That's why we have to divide. This can be written as a four factorial divided by two factorial into two factorial by two factorial. That is equals to you will get three possibilities only, right? Now the question is total two n items are there. These are two n items. We have to divide into two equal groups. One group containing n items. The other group containing n items. So many different ways we can divide. That can be divided into as a two n factorial by n factorial into n factorial because of two equal groups. That's why by two factorial. Suppose you see another example here. Total twenty items are there. These are twenty items. We have to divide into four groups. One group containing five items. Second group containing five items. Third group also containing five items. So third group containing four items. Fourth group containing six items. They can be divided in these many ways. Twenty factorial divided by five factorial into. 5 factorial into 4 factorial into 6 factorial here two equal groups that's why by 2 factorial you will get suppose we have total 30 items these are 30 items we have divided into 7 7 7 and 9 then what happens this can be divided as 30 factorial divided by 7 factorial whole cube Into nine factorial into because we have three equal groups that's why by three factorial so that is the way of division of items into groups when they are equal groups how many equal groups are there observe three are there that's why we are divided with three factorial now another question is there here total fifty two cards those fifty two cards we have to divide into Four equal groups. Fifty-two playing cards can be divided into four equal groups. In how many ways we can do it? So that is fifty-two factorial divided by thirteen factorial into thirteen factorial into thirteen factorial into thirteen factorial. These are four equal groups. That's why we have to write into four factorial also, right? 13 13 13 4 4 equal group that's why four factorial now question arises these 52 cards i want to distribute to four different players okay now we divide into four groups these four groups can be distributed to four players in how many ways four factorial that's why into four factorial is the answer right so that is the way of division of items into groups now the question arises here This is the way of discussion. Total fifty-two cards. These are fifty-two cards. We want to divide into ten, 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 eleven, eleven. How many ways we can divide? Total fifty-two cards can be divided into these type of groups. Total five groups. One group containing ten, ten, ten. This group containing eleven. Another group containing eleven. Total thirty plus twenty-two. Fifty-two cards. Now 52 factorial divided by 10 factorial whole cube into 11 factorial whole square because these are three equal groups that's why three factorial here also three equal groups that's why two factorial you will get suppose you want to distribute these five groups to five different players then what to do into five factorial because these five groups can be divided to five different players in how many ways five factorial ways okay so that is the answer for that particular question so another question you can observe here total we have uh, m plus n plus p items or m plus 2n items m plus 2n items We have to divide into three groups. One group containing y m items, another group containing y n items, another group containing y n items. How many ways we can divide them? 
they can be divided in m plus 2n factorial divided by m factorial into n factorial whole square because two identical groups that's why we are divided with two factorial okay so that is the discussion regarding this particular idea so next class we are going to discuss about selection of items okay selection of items right okay bye bye